Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own Windows PE pre-install environment. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download and install the Windows ADK. You can get that by going to docs.microsoft.com slash en dash us slash windows dash hardware slash get dash started slash adk dash install or simply search for the windows adk on duckduckgo once you get to this page you can download it by clicking here and i also download and install the windows pe environment by clicking here as i've already done this i'll just bring this into the screen and we'll double click that to install it if you have an older version of your system, you will have to uninstall it before you can continue. Install it to the current path, I'm okay with that. And that's installed on another path. I'm okay with the current path, so just click next. I never send anonymous statistics, but you can simply read that. Windows 10 kit collects and sends anonymous data to Microsoft. You read that at your leisure, but I'm just going to say no and click next. I'm going to accept the endless, enormous end user licensing agreement and click install. User account controls kicked in, so I'll click yes. And we'll wait for that to install. Okay, that's installed. So I'm just going to click close. I'm going to bring back in my downloads folder. And this is the ADK Win PE setup. Let's run that as well. And again, just clicking next, not sending data, next. Accepting the ELU A next and install again i'm also saying yes to user account control when it kicks in okay that's been completed so i can click next close that down for just now click on here we find windows kits and there's a deployment and imaging tool environment command line so we open that now, once we're here, what we want to do is do copy PE space AMD64 because I want a 64 bit version space and then where I want it to create the image. So I'm going to do C colon slash when PE 64. Hit return. Okay, as you can see, it copied a lot of files. So if I now go back to the root of my C drive, and change to win PE64 and do a DIR. We have the files required to create a pre install environment. So, what we need to do now is we need to make that an ISO. So, the easiest way to do that is to close out here and reopen it and then enter the command make win PE media slash ISO and give it the folder c colon slash win dash 64 and then give it the ISO name which would be c colon slash win pe slash win 10 pe dot ISO hit return and now if we change to the C drive change to the win pe folder and do a DIR we have a windows 10 pe dot ISO folder now, if you're using a virtual machine, you could boot it to test or you could use Rufus to copy that and boot it from a USB as per previous videos that I have done. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.